Tasman 420 coming at you. Sorry about the shaking camera, y'all. Just getting things set up. I should have got been more prepared, but it's all good. But yeah, for all, uh, I've already messaged all the people in my 420 group chat, y'all, uh, on Messenger, about me doing this pre-recorded pre broadcast, and, uh, whatnot, and I'm gonna be uploading it, uh, tomorrow when you guys see it uploaded, that, that means this video is from the last night, which is for me tonight. And that bud that I showed on, on my live broadcast on Facebook, there it is from earlier. Well, for all that, uh, as most of y'all know that uh, noticed when I do these pre-recorded broadcasts. Uh, I upload them both to my YouTube channel and my uh, uh, 420 group page. And some of the people on my 420 group group page knows what I'm going through. So when you guys see this, this is a tarp right here. This is my little corner of a front patio of an abandoned house and, and all that. I got my blankets and my sleeping bag already ready for the night uh, for to update everybody on uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, uh, this would be my second to last night on a I believe a seven day uh, seven day restriction at the rescue mission for having a pot pipe and. Uh, my opinion, I'm likely, yeah, I shouldn't have had it, or I should have hidden better, hidden it better, or not have been playing with it. But that's what got me res restricted because security seen me uh, playing with it uh, in line for the night to try to get in for the night. And uh, me personally, you know, yeah, I do agree with most of everyone that it is legal now in the state of Colorado and all that but I'm with the mission on this uh, I'm not sure if they're federally ran or whatever but marijuana is not legally federal federally legal yet so I can understand why they banned me they ain't they're not banned me uh, it's not banned uh, restricted sorry restricted wrong choices of words um, uh, but yeah um, uh, but yeah, um, what did I do with that paper? Okay, Brent, uh, blonde moment, brain fart, whatever you want to call it. As soon as I get ready to put this down, but like I was saying, I was put on a seven-day restriction for having a pot pipe at the rescue mission. Yes, it's legal by state by uh, for state by state standards, but federally it's not legal yet. Yes, it's in the process, and that may change things at rescue missions uh, and things like that. So it's one of those things where, you know, if you smoke pot, you got to be careful on doing things if you're in a situation like I am. Like, I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before in previous broadcasts, but uh, 
do the best you guys can. My, my advice to y'all uh, is to do the best you can not to get in a position that, that I'm in. And, uh, and, and all that. Yeah, it does happen to the best of us. Believe me, I wasn't ever expecting it to happen the first time. But, uh, me a minute. Um, but it does happen to the best of us. Um, I hope that's better, y'all. Give me a minute. Let me finish what I'm doing here so I can focus back on trusting my conversation. Cheers. Happy Valentine's, everyone. Uh, when you guys see this tomorrow, or it'll be today now after you guys see it uploaded, but uh, happy late Valentine's, y'all. But like I was saying, y'all, uh, my piece of, piece of advice is try not to get into this pre pre uh, predicament, y'all. Uh, uh, when I first started this, the, the 420 group page on Facebook, um, I, had my, I, I was already in my own place. Give me a minute. I hear somebody. Okay, they're going, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, um, when I first, like I was saying, saying I, when I first started this group page on Facebook, uh, I had my, uh, my janitorial job for a year that I've had for a year and a half. I had my own apartment. Uh, some of y'all know that I, from the beginning, like Rob uh, and a couple of others, knew that. You know, when I had my apartment, I was married. And I also knew that there at the end of the last few months of my apartment, uh, even more longer than that, um, uh, the missus and I, started having issues uh, when it came to renewing the apartment and yes I'm giving everybody an update why I'm here in this predicament between the streets and the rescue mission uh, but when it came to the time of uh, um, renewing our apartment lease they wanted they wanted to wanted to increase the, the rent by two hundred dollars it wasn't in, in our budget, so that's what made us become homeless in our situation again. <coughs> because when we first met, and before all this, like when I got the job, I was already homeless, staying at the R.J. Montgomery Salvation Army through uh, Salvation Army Shelter. 
uh, when I first got out here to Colorado a couple years back. That's where I met my, my, my at that time, soon-to-be wife, and that's when I got my job, and, uh, and here, I, uh, it, you know, the story with the job a year and a half later, the apartment a year later, um, And, uh, and all that, and And some of y'all seen me do my broadcast then too when all this with the apart losing the apartment and being homeless then too and uh then I finally left state to go back to my mother's for a little while to clear my head. While I was out of state, that's when the missus uh left me for another man and uh uh and you know, I told her not to, you know. Uh, she told me that she was doing it. Yes, she was truthful about it, but at the same time, we're married. So it was one of those, close the door with me before you move on, you know. So, you know, I while I was in Arizona, I worked. I did whatever I could to make money, and uh, then I came uh, came back to Colorado to try to patch it up with the misses and get things back going in motion. It didn't work out, you know. So now my it's back to my main plan is coming back here to access the resources that Colorado Springs has to offer compared to Phoenix, because. Uh, um, uh, and it's because uh, the environment out here is better, you know, for me. Down there in Phoenix, at this, the, uh, or the, the rescue mission down there in Phoenix, they don't have their work program no more, so they don't have anything to offer me for help and assistance of getting work. Otherwise, I'll be stuck there for a year or two in one of their other programs. I want to get back up on my feet. I don't want to waste. I don't want to say waste, but spend my time like that. I want to get work and the help I need to move forward with my life. And. And. Uh, but not so, and there's this other shelter down there in Phoenix where, yeah, they have resources. They probably got programs that I can join to be able to do just what I wanted. But down there, the, the second shelter I stayed at down there once before, uh, it makes this, uh, I just want to say it's a not, not a recommended place for people who end up in this situation to stay at because uh, and remember I'm talking about this one shelter in Phoenix um, uh, it, they have street gangs that literally literally liter or literally live on the streets right there in front of the, the, the shelter the kind that will dope up and start fights and have backup with people try to defend themselves and, and which is a chicken should move in my opinion um, uh, well um, and all that you know uh, ambulances uh, fire trucks and police officers were like a multiple time a day occurrence it, it, it became part of the scenery if you were like it will like seeing trees in nature you know it's it was just part of the everyday scene, you know, um, um, 
So I chose to come back. The missus didn't want me to come back. You know? But, you know, if we're going to be getting a, uh, a divorce, if you will, which is not is in motion, the court date is the 2nd of March, uh, to get it fi uh, uh, officially done or at least in motion to finalize. Uh, um and whatnot, so, my main focus, which was pretty much, when I first came back out here, was to focus on myself, my future, my plans to get to my future, to my goals, which is, you know, getting a job, from that job, because of staying at the rescue mission out here in the Springs, I can be able to save up money for either a pickup truck with a camper shell, or preferably a small to medium motorhome. To where I can uh, go and rent a spot at a campground, you know, like a KOA or something. I I heard that it's fairly fairly cheap compared to an apartment or a home. That way, I still have a roof over my head. I got a vehicle in a sense to where I can go to and from places, and I got a spot that's where I can legally live my life until I have the proper job. And the proper money saved up to get into my own place. And, uh, that happens to be an apartment or a home of some kind. And it's a tough journey, if you will. If any of y'all out there in social media land or YouTube land or wherever land, has ever experienced that and ever sees this video knows what I'm talking about. It's a long process. Very long. With all the normal people out there that have their shit straight, if you will, that never had to experience this, any kind of hardship or whatever in life, they can only imagine. They don't have the experience or the knowledge to understand where we are coming from. You know, I'm not exactly proud of it, but to to announce it, but this is like my fifth or sixth time having to go through this to get back up on my feet. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not really proud to announce that, but it does provide me the experience from the current time of doing it for the next time, if it ever happens again. You know, I know what process to take and what not to do, to do and not to do next time if it happens to come around. And, uh, uh, um, For, and also, my tip in, in uh, uh, like, my tip for all those people that end up experiencing this or are currently experiencing this, and if you guys happen to, uh, to come out here or are already out here in Colorado Springs, um, I advise, I mean, yeah, uh, the resources are good. If you have the patience to deal with stupid people and whatnot, the rescue mission out here is pretty all right. Um, but uh, there's a lot of people. If this rescue mission here in the Springs happens to be low barrier, meaning that no kids are allowed because of the kind of crowd that hangs out here and you stays it stays there at the Springs, you know, and. Uh, give me a minute, y'all. Yeah. 
starting to get a little colder, so I'm, I'm covering up with all my stuff that I have ready for me to stay warm. Sorry about the messed up hair, you know, I can't exactly stay fabulous all the time. <laughs> earlier in the fourth, earlier today on Valentine's, I did a, did a live broadcast on my 420 group page, so, um, well, and, uh, also, uh, what else? Um, my, um, you know, my brain just went dead. I want to continue, you know, talking, but it's all good. Um, <coughs> but like I was saying, the live broadcast I did in the 420 group page, I, I, I still have it on the, uh, the white and black plaid shirt. Um, you know, I clean up well if, uh, when I, when I need to be, be clean, well, well groomed or clean so with that being said that br pr uh, blows one of the stereotypes out of the water y'all about all homeless are the same they don't bathe they don't clean I want to call bullshit on that same thing with not all homeless people are druggies because all I smoke is cigarettes and and weed I shouldn't be smoking cigarettes but weed is not a drug you know um what else? Um, I work my ass off when I do have a job, do the best I can to keep it, so I can have that income to have a life, you know? Right now, I'm currently looking for work, you know? So it's one of those things where, I mean, right now I got a, a couple of ducks that I need to line up first before I continue my job hunt. <coughs> Some of y'all already know that, uh, I have a housekeeping application in, at the Antlers Motel, which I still need to turn in my up my uh, my resume in to Matt to uh, to go along with that application. Um, I also have an application in and do the same thing with the resume at the Roadway Inn on South Nevada. Um, well, um, so I'm trying, and uh, some of Y'all that seen the broadcast, the live broadcast in the page earlier today, seen that, uh, or heard me mention that uh, I had to fix a couple paperwork related things when it came to trying to get my birth certificate mailed to me because I still am in 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 uh, uh, in transition of 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 getting my. Arizona driver's license over to uh, the state of Colorado um, so I can legally drive that means I can also apply for driving jobs if if they ever came, uh, came available out here um, but yeah um, that's pretty much my story why I'm camped out if you will um, and staying at a rescue mission um, that's, that's part of my story. I originally came out here a couple years ago from Arizona. Um, what made me come out here from originally from Arizona was, uh, a couple years back was when I was staying at that, re that one, not the rescue mission in Phoenix, but the other shelter in Phoenix that I stayed at. There was an old married couple that I made friends with, family-like friends with, uh, and I've been, I was hanging out with them for a couple of months, or a few months. The lady happened to have heart a heart congestion of heart failure and a pacemaker, and found she did some research. Um, I need to switch that light. But yeah, um, um Richard came out, and, and she found out Colorado happens to be number one on the best 
heart transplant list of surgeries and stuff like that. So, and I also had my medical red, uh, my medical marijuana card for the state of Arizona when I was there too. So, I had about one month left on my card before it expired, and I was trying to do something with my life out there too, but nothing worked. And they wanted they they have money, so they wanted to come out here, and they didn't want to come out here without me. So I was like, mm, I'm looking for work. I got one month left on my medical marijuana card before it expires. Um, is there a third reason? Nope, I'm gone. You know, so came out here a couple years ago. Stayed at the Salvation Army, uh, R.J. Montgomery. Everybody buddy around here calls it R.J.'s because R.J. Montgomery is the one that started it all with the Salvation Army thing. Um, and that's where I pretty much got my start with the job at the mall uh, and my apartment and the wife and that went through and here I am uh, some time later. So I'm going to be, it's almost uh, like about uh, less than four minutes away from the half an hour mark, so I'm going to be signing out. Like I said before, happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and I hope everybody has a good night's sleep, sweet dreams, and stay comfy out there, y'all. Uh, anybody, or try to do your best to stay comfy for anyone that is experienced what I'm experience, experiencing. Um, so, um, well... That's part of my story uh, from starting back uh, about two, three plus years, or roughly, give or take. Um, well, uh, peace out, everyone, and uh, sweet dreams, y'all.